So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to prepare for this new year, for 2023. But before I get started in the video, I wanna wish everyone a happy new year. I'm sure last year came with challenges as it came with many benefits. However, we wanna put this video together to tell you as a manager or as a community association board member of what steps you should be following to make 2023 a very successful year for you and for your community. So the first tip I wanna provide is, hopefully you have your 2023 goals for your association. If you don't, you definitely need to start putting together what are gonna be the four to maybe seven goals, depending on the size of your association, for this particular year. Next, you wanna understand who's going to be accountable for executing those goals. It doesn't mean that that's the one person that's gonna make sure that that goal gets done and do all the heavy lifting. What it means is that person's going to be responsible to guide that goal and push it to the finish line. So there will be multiple people that will be working closely, hopefully with this person to execute that goal. But ultimately we need one person accountable for each of those goals or one person accountable for multiple goals. The next thing you wanna know is once you have those goals, is do you have the finances ready in order to support those goals? In some cases, those goals may not have a financial tie to it. That makes life much easier. However, if there's some financial component tied to it, you wanna make sure that you have the budget prepared, or if you don't, how are you going to get the monies in order to execute that particular goal? Next, if you have that goal and you know what it looks like at the finish line, what you wanna do is break it into small pieces. So break it into quarterly portions of what needs to get done in order for that goal to be executed. So the way we like to do it here at Infinity is we break it down per quarter. And then for that particular quarter, we'll break down milestones, whether it be every other week or weekly. And we're checking in on those goals to make sure that we're moving that puck towards the goal line and that we're working together to execute that particular goal. Once you have those quarterly and milestones goals, you wanna make sure that obviously you have a good rhythm of meetings, whether it be weekly, whether it be every other week, whatever works for your particular community association. I highly recommend at least weekly meetings to understand what's going on. Now, board members, don't panic. I'm not saying weekly board meetings. I'm saying weekly check-in meetings to make sure that these goals are being executed. If they're not being, being executed, you wanna understand why they're not being executed, where do the challenges exist, are there any obstacles that need to be moved from either management, from a vendor, from the board, or from residents, whatever it may be, but that way you're working as one unit to accomplish these goals for your particular association. So to give you an example to try to wrap this all up is most of you have just finished your budget season. Just because you finished your budget season doesn't mean that 2023, you don't have to prepare a budget. So what you wanna do is understand if your goal as an association is to not go over, hopefully you don't go over, on your expenses for the year, is setting up quarterly check-ins to understand where you are financially. That way, as a board and management, you know where you stand and you're making sure that the classifications for those items within your budget are done properly so that when you get to budget season at the end of the year, the work is going to be much easier to do. So if you've enjoyed this video, or if you have any other questions when it comes to setting goals for your community or setting goals for your particular association, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can reach us by visiting our website, managebyaffinity.com. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give us thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as we have weekly videos coming out. I'll see you in our next video.